So it's about quarter to 10 a.m. here in Quebec, Canada, and this is the package that I just received this morning. Now this actually came a little bit earlier than I thought it would, so thank God my sister uh, was awake and able to receive this package. Um, got lucky in that sense because I had only set my alarm for 8.30. Package uh, SMA delivery time was going to be between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. It actually came at 8.16. So, uh, but my sister was awake so it's all good and uh, the big plus side to this is I don't have to sit around home waiting all day for this to come in now. You know, I have my whole day free. Don't have to stay and wait for FedEx. So, this is a package of geckos that I got from uh, Roger at RM Reptiles down in Toronto. And it was shipped through Reptiles Express. So. We're gonna have a little look at what's in it. I'm actually opening this outside right now because it's a super nice day outside and the lighting isn't very good in my room. So I figure the geckos will look nicer in the natural light going on out here. Now you guys might hear the wind a little bit. There's a nice breeze kind of going on. Looks like it's gonna be a very nice day today. Um, and also, unfortunately, my deck is really close to uh, the air conditioning system so anyways here is the little pamphlet from reptiles express um, they also have aquatics express now so we actually use these guys a few times for um, safari reptiles to ship some of our animals and uh, only have nice things to say about samfard and reptiles express so uh, if you guys don't like shipping through air canada cargo up here in canada uh, Reptiles Express is definitely a good option. You know, they basically make it idiot proof for you. Oh, look at that. I got a pen from Reptiles Express. That's good. Seeing as how I always, always lose my pens at work. So you guys could see that the um, two geckos were held in place by this uh, newspaper. Here. All right, so let's see what we got. These guys are really, really active, it seems like. I hear them moving around in the uh, containers. So let me actually uh, put the camera down here. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. I just wanna make sure that the gecko doesn't come flying out, runs under the deck or anything crazy like that. So. I've been actually wanting a pair of these guys for a really long time, but I was never really able to find a um, pair for a reasonable price. These guys are really expensive. Even these guys were really expensive, but I finally decided to pull the trigger and get myself these. Um, I've actually never even seen these kinds of geckos in person. We have something very similar to these guys at work though. So, you know, basically the exact same pair. But these guys are bigger, which is one of the things that made me want to get into these guys. Wow, they're so much bigger than I expected. <laughs> and this gecko is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> And none too happy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, stay in there. Let's not go running away. Wow, that's actually a, a lot bigger than I ever thought they would be. Wow, this thing has a head that's bigger than uh, the heads on some of my adult leopard geckos. So, this must be the female, basically. I'd be really surprised if this was the male. But anyways, for you guys that don't know what you're looking at right here, this is Nepharis amaye or the rough knobtail gecko. So these are an Australian species and uh, I just think they're so awesome. And this gecko looks phenomenal. I Honestly guys, I thought this would be half the size it is right now. And uh, yeah, I got a pair of these and basically they're able to breed, or they're ready to breed I should say. 
Um, and these guys are quite easy to breed. Uh, I've bred the Wheeler Eye before and didn't have really much issues breeding them. You know, everywhere that you read information on these guys, it says that basically you're going to have to like turn these guys off of breeding or else you may breed them to death once they get going. Well, let's see how big the male is. Because I know that the Wheeler Eye pair we have, there's a pretty huge difference between the size of the, uh, the male and the female. But these guys are huge. I never expected them to be this big. That's awesome. That is like really, really cool. Uh, again, I got these from Roger at RM Reptiles. Um, he basically specializes in leopard geckos and uh, he the only reason why he sold this pair to me is because he uh, wants to focus on leopard geckos a little more. So, guessing he's gonna focus more on leopard geckos, breeding leopard geckos, but this is just awesome, man. And the female, um, I hope it showed up on the camera, but she's really nice and dark. You know, I, I, um, from the pictures I've seen on the internet, I actually prefer the darker looking ones to the, uh, the lighter looking ones. But I also know that, uh, at least the Wheeler Eye, they change color quite a bit. Like sometimes the Wheeler Eye in the mornings, they'll be almost white and, uh, black. So probably the same kind of deal with these guys. Let's look at the boy. And even the boy is quite big. And these guys have such intense red on them. Red that I never thought they would have personally. But man, are they huge. That's my hand right beside him. Or kind of beside him. He seems to be a little bit more friendly. I don't know if I could touch him here. Maybe take a bite from him. He seems to be a little bit more friendly, this guy. Oh, I say he seems to be a little bit more friendly, but obviously he's not warmed up right now. I mean, by no measure was the box cold or anything like that, but, you know, I see his breathing is starting to increase. And it looks like he's about to start doing that push-up thing that they're known for, and there you go. <laughs> it's so funny how something this small could like scare you with that bark, basically. But uh, that's the video, guys. Um, really happy. I actually have these guys set up. And there's a goddamn ant getting into the box there. Uh, but I actually already have these guys bins set up. Maybe I'll show you guys their bins, show you how I'm going to set them up.